Hello everybody, this is Nerf Gun Reviewer 331 here today, and uh, today's video is obviously not a Nerf video. Uh, this is something I've been working on for quite a while. This is a PVC bow that I've made out of PVC and some string. Uh, I don't know what type of, like, what type of bow string this is. I, this is not even a bow string, this is a, some, sort, some sort of yarn. I, it's like a brownish yarn, but it wasn't like a, a sewing yarn. It was more like a, I don't know, just twine. I don't know. But uh, for the bow, the the reason why I made this bow was because I loved archery as a kid, and ever since I went to the Renaissance Fair when I was a kid, I loved it. I think I got a bullseye when I was young too, with just one, and the other two missed. But. Uh, I've always wanted to go back into archery when I was a kid, but I never could. So, now I made this, and now I'm working on arrows. So, the process that I did, uh, was, which is a little bit different than what other people have done. Uh, now, <clears throat> if you're wondering where I got my inspiration, I got my inspiration from... Uh, I forgot the YouTuber's name, but he uh, he made a couple of these PVC bows out of different sort assortment of materials, and the the inside of this pipe would have been fiberglass, like he said in the video. Uh, like four of these fiberglass rods shoved into here to give it more strength and durability, and probably more more power if I had to guess, but. I didn't have fiberglass lying around, so I used <clears throat> this is for the for the main for the main frame of the bow. This is made with uh, shark bite, which is I guess an off-brand PVC kind of pipe. It is I believe three fourths. Yes, shark bite three fourths inch. This is a five footer. I just literally took the five foot pipe and just used it as the bow. And I found that CPVC half inch fits nice and snug. A little, a little too loose at times, but it's still pretty snug inside the shark bite. And I, 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 I figured that shark bite plus the CPVC would just give it a little bit more strength, durability, and all that. For the arrows, I took, I believe these are 318 or no. These are, these are just poplar dowels, yes, poplar dowels, they are three-eighths of an inch, and the way I did it, uh, for the arrows at least, is <clears throat> these usually come, I want to say, 48 inches, yes, 48 inches, so that's like four feet at least, maybe. Approximate. And uh, I had done some tests, and you can probably notice that this is a broken PLA arrowhead. Uh, the rest, the, all three of these popped off at some point. But also, uh, the dowel itself, uh, this is covered in glue, by the way. So, uh, the dowel itself, as you can probably see here, is not very, uh, it's not very thin, it's pretty thick. And I had to pretty much carve it down to size so the arrowhead and the fletch and knocking could fit pretty well on it. <clears throat> All right. So, and also, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna try and do one of these PVC bow with 3D printing and wooden dowels, I would not recommend printing the fletchings and knocks in PLA. I would recommend TPU. Uh, at least that's what that's what I'm printing at the moment. PLA. It looks cooler, it looks spazzier. This is a shiny red PLA that I use for the fletch and knocking, and notice how it's... This is just a file I grabbed on Thingiverse to see if it, it would work. But notice how the, the knock is pretty much broken, and uh, the fletching itself is stiff. It, it really tore through my... Uh, hold on a second. So, that right there... Um, is pretty much battle scars from doing this wrong. 
if you were to make these fletchings and knocks, uh, I would just I would just straight up recommend TPU. It is or any kind of flexible material if you're going to 3D print um, your fletchings and knocks. For the arrowhead itself, I use PLA and the tip's pretty much destroyed. But uh, these came out really nice. Now, for these wooden dowels, uh, I had to make the arrowheads and the fletchings and knocks even bigger. Them are just marginally bigger than they were before. <laughs> Mainly because uh, even if I slim these down to size, I I would need. It's like, well, this kind of fits, but it's not as doable. Because I wanted to make sure there were no gaps, there's no uh, seams of any kind, and uh, honestly, these. Uh, without the constantly getting scraped every single time I let go of the arrow and it gets shot out of the bow, uh, scraping my hand on the way out, these worked really well. Um, the arrowheads maintain durability. Uh, this is just covered in dirt for the like first top half. And uh, I guess... This is all just like a little experiment of mine. Can I actually make a PVC bow, which I did? Can I make arrows out of things that you would find at like a hardware store? If you have a 3D printer, you use a 3D printer. And the most important question, will it work? I have made quite a few holes in this room by accident, and I'm uh, <laughs> not proud of those ones. Uh, what I mean is, like, I would... I would just, like, pretend play and go, like, oh, I got an arrow, wee -choo! And it hits through a wall, it's like, oh, I gotta stop. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so, making this PVC bow is pretty simple, and, uh, the way I learned is, um, what I did, for the bow at least, is I took uh, a Dremel tool and cut it, cut it at an angle, so that way this, uh, I could just tie this into a loop, triple knot it, and just slip it over on top and then do the same for the other. And, and when I found the, like, the appropriate tightness, I just tighten both, uh, both ends with a triple knot, which is, you know, just a simple, it's like a simple knot and then you do it two more times. Um, now I will mention if you're wondering what what is this goop or this hardened goop on on the ends of here and here. This is I think I actually have it over here. It's a uh, gorilla glue, specifically a uh, wooden uh, gorilla glue. So it looks like this. Let's see if I can just get this right. You know, just a tiny little bottle, but uh, the way I did it was I unscrewed the whole cap and kind of submerged it to a, a guessing point of how far in it is, and then I just took it out, uh, cleaned it off as much as I could, and then slapped on either an arrowhead, that's PLA, or at the time PLA fletching and knock, which I would not recommend. If you have TPU, use TPU instead. Now, as far as the arrow's performance, um, I don't have a video yet, but I want I want to make this. Well, I want the first time to be really, really good, so there's like very little improvement I need to make. Although that's kind of the whole that takes out the whole question of trial and error. But anyway, the point is is that <laughs> no pun intended. Um, the point is, is that the, uh, just because, uh, even though the PLA fletching and knocks didn't work out as much as I hoped and kind of scarred my hand a little bit, it would, it still performed really, really well. It, uh, I was, I, for just test, per, for range purposes and for the fact that we're in a neighborhood and I can't really, I can't really just go anywhere and shoot arrows. At targets, um, I did it in my backyard, 
and I was at one far end of the backyard to the other. It was probably at least 70, 60 feet apart from, from, from where I was standing to the target. Uh, I couldn't hit anything. Uh, the arrows didn't even reach. Um, they didn't reach, I want to say, I want to say 50 feet at max. So I think either this this bow needs to be a little bit tougher, or the string has to be a little bit thicker, or maybe there has to be more more pressure. I don't know. But this is what I have so far. Doesn't look like much, but this is what I've been working on for the past, mm, I want to say a week, two weeks, week and a half maybe. A video will be coming up shortly for this uh, PVC bow firing test as soon as I get all the flinchings and knocks and arrowheads done. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Um, this is just going over a, a DIY project of mine. And I gotta say this PVC bow came out really really well and I'm really glad it did. Even though I've tried many times in the past where uh, I would try to make a bow and it just would not work. So, I'm just, I'm just really glad this one turned out really well. So remember, uh, if you want to make one of these bows, and you just have PVC and shark bite lying around, then you're in luck. Shark bite is uh, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, looser. I, I don't know. Uh, not looser. It's like a little bit less thick all around than regular PVC. So if you have shark bite, three fourths inch, um, like a five footer at least, and then if you want to buy, if you want to get a, I think this is, yeah, this is half inch CPVC. If you want to get that and the shark bite, then you can just kind of eyeball the rest. It's it's fairly simple. It, it's just a, a matter of how you're going to get from point A to point B. It's all up to you. So uh, thanks for watching guys, this is Nerfgun Reviewer 331 signing off for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, understood the video, this is Sam. Uh, <laughs> please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. One additional piece I had forgotten to mention about the PVC bow is I made a PVC quiver. Which looks like a big thick piece of PVC pipe. Uh, so this quiver doesn't work exactly well because with the arrowheads and the fletchings and the knocks, this would uh, most mostly I would say like two arrows could easily fit in here, but I would need a wider and bigger quiver. But just for something to work out with, this works pretty well. For the quiver, this is a leather piece. I think I got it from the Renaissance Fair. Oddly enough, uh, this was to hold a. To, like a, a wooden sword of sorts it's like a scabbard of of sorts but it fits pv it fits this thick uh i want to say oh it's a one and one quarter inch thing of pvc then we have a coupler on top for looks i guess and to keep this from sliding all the way off another half in, uh, another uh coupler here along with a I want to say this is uh, this piece here is a. Uh, I want to say it's like a end cap of sorts. I don't know, but uh, there is also another thing of PVC. I think it's three quarters PVC in here, well, a lot along with a. What is this? An end, end cap? Oh, so I think this is the adapter. This is the end cap, and there's a piece of PVC which I still can't figure out how to get off, but. Uh, this is just so that uh, at the time when there was just plain old wooden dowels, uh, the wooden dowels wouldn't just fall right out. This is just supposed to catch it in a sense. So this is the homemade quiver I made for the bow. That's all I wanted to mention. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.